Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Most of you probably got this same email. This is an exciting new series from Somalia. At least we think it's from Somalia. It's the African Wildlife Series, the second coin in the series, a first for quite a while. For the past 15 years, it has been the elephant. And this is an Atm exclusive, apparently. This is coming from Atmex, but I got the email this morning about it. And it says, get your 2018 gold and silver Somalian leopards first at Atmex in 2018. A second design was added to the African Wildlife Series, the leopard. <laughs> The African Wildlife Series depicting an elephant has been popular for 20, for 15 years, and this addition to the series will be no different. The first release had a limited mintage of 1,000 gold coins and 30,000 silver coins worldwide. Each coin is made from four nines fine gold, celebrating the beauty of the animal kingdom. The gold leopard coin portrays one of the fastest animals found on the African plains, a leopard. Minted by the Das Bay Bayer Sheesh Hoffentusen Mint in Germany, a German manufactured gold elephant coin attract uh, attention from coin collectors all over the world. Now, I assume that means a Bavarian mint, uh, and I think that's what that is. And uh, there's some controversy around that, but this text doesn't um, talk about that controversy. That's why I say the word coin in quotes. But it's the subject of a video to come, so stay tuned, for which I will talk about it. We'll see the prices for silver and gold, and everything is up a little bit today. Uh, but there they are. You get them in uh, one ounce gold, one ounce silver, and the mint direct silver. And there you go. Now, here's the gold coin. Now, the thing about this, my opinion of this design is not really that high. You know, I mean, a, a leopard, a beautiful animal, but uh, to see the butt end of a leopard or any animal, uh, even even if he's turning around facing you, is uh, it's uh, it's not a, even if you could do it well, um, is not uh, the most attractive way to portray an animal, in my opinion. I kind of see what they're going for here, but there's no depth of field. It looks like a mass of of craters on an animal horrible in my opinion and the landscape around the animal is 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 okay but even as such you know there's real no depth of field here at least according to this rendering here and literally it just looks like a cratered animal because it appears that the spots themselves will be are in depth to have the mirror background and and, and the the mirror background makes the spots of the animal the face is not too bad but uh, nonetheless, that's the gold. And here is the silver version. Let's take a look at that and see how that looks. Same thing. In fact, I think it looks even worse in silver. Four nines fine pure. Um, this could have been a really good design. But again, in my opinion, there's no real depth of field here. And, uh, and it just doesn't really translate well at least according to these renderings. Uh, this silver almost looks like it could be a photograph of the coin. But uh, the other aspect of this is the, the problem with this series in general is the they tend to milk spot, even with these high reflective proof-like fields. Um, so I don't know how this will do. Let's take a look here. The, the specifications mentioned 30,000 for the prior series, but didn't say in the opening uh, paragraphs there, but these do have 30,000 mintage. The North American Atma exclusive, so in North America, they're the sole distributor for these at 30,000. Since it is the second in the series, it may be pretty exciting for some um, to accumulate, to acquire, and some of you may like this design. I think it could have been done a little better. I think there's a way to have the same effect, but have the animal show a little bit more of the animal. Um, and uh, But nonetheless, then the legality of it is obviously another thing. And I'll, like again, I'll cover that in another video. But they're on pre-sale for order for uh, October the 11th. 
And here you can see the denomination of 1,000 shillings from the Somali Republic. And uh, their coat of arms, I think, does have the uh, leopard there. And some other animal. I don't know. See what the description says on the reverse. Full image of a leopard looking back over his left shoulder. In the background, naturally, setting the landscape. Oh, the obverse is a Somalian coat of arms. And what that coat of arms is made up, I think one of them is a leopard. Uh, there we go. Very good. And the cheetah is also sometimes included in the big cat family according to their size. But technically not as a big cat as it cannot roar. African leopard can roar. All right, very good. Well, let's see. All right, very good. So it is minted by the Bavarian state mint in Germany. Um, as depicted there is another the German name for it. Very interesting. Well, so what are your thoughts on this series? Um, are you a collector? Is this a coin you will collect? Um, is it something that uh, interests you? Do you like the design? What are your thoughts on the design? I think the face is okay, um, but I'm just not a huge fan of the way the body is is portrayed there and the way the spots are shown. And as you can see, Atmex also has the elephants, and some of those are pretty nice designs. Very cool indeed in different various forms for the elephants. So post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.